Ladies and gentlemen, I agree to all of you and would like to remedy one injustice right away. This panel discussion is called David on the Dnipro. I consider it as a rightful respect to Ukraine and to everything our people are doing. But this year, determination was shown on different banks and not only of the Dnipro, Spree and Seine, Thames and Potomac, Vistula and Tiber. David is now all of us. He is a whole free world. David is everyone who left that there is no alternative but to defeat Goliath who came to destroy our life. Being David is fighting and we are fighting. Being David is having a sling to win. We do not have yet the David's sling from Israel, but I believe it is just temporarily. Now I would like to thank for the powerful support and, and mighty weapons. I thank Olaf and Emmanuel who are present here on this panel and I thank all our partners present here in Munich, the United States, Britain, all the countries of the EU and all from the whole world. I'm grateful to everyone who gives the sling to Ukrainian David, thanks to which, thanks to which Russian Goliath has already started to lose his ground. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. We saw it last year and he will definitely fall already this year. We can make it, all of us together, just as David did. We can make sure that there is no alternative to our victory, but then there should be no alternative to our determination, to the determination of all of us on Dnipro, and on Spree, on Seine, on Thames, on Potomac, and Vistula, on Tiber, Danube, and Jordan, and everywhere, in every part of the world where freedom is valued more than the mercy of a tyrant. Last year, when I was here in Munich at the conference, I was looking for such common determination. Ukraine was clearly telling the world we will fight for ourselves if Russia starts a full-scale war. I wanted to hear from the world, Ukraine, we will be with you. Unfortunately, I heard it only after Russian missiles struck our land, already after the Russian tanks started moving, already after Putin destroyed all alternatives, leaving just one who will win, he or us. In fact, you have already responded with the name of this conference's panel discussion, Goliath has no chances. But unfortunately, he has a potential. Unfortunately, he tries to buy additional time for his aggression, trading with the world. Unfortunately, he can still destroy many lives, many. That is why we need to hurry up. We need the speed, speed of our agreements, speed of our delivery to strengthen our sling, speed of decisions to limit Russian potential. There is no alternative to speed because it is the speed that the life depends on. Delay has always been and still is a mistake. While we negotiate how to strengthen our defense with modern tanks, the Kremlin is thinking, thinking about ways to strangle Moldova. While we are trying to convince that Ukraine needs modern combat aircraft, the Kremlin has already convinced the Iranian regime. The result is not only lethal Iranian drones in Ukrainian skies, but also something, something which, with which the Kremlin paid for it. Are you sure it's just money? 
or maybe the world will face the enriched Iranian regime. And to what extent? 90 percent, 92 or 100 percent. And I'm, I'm sure none of us wants to let the region of Middle East and the Gulf to taste it. While we spent weeks to agree on new sanctions against Russia, the terrorist state is looking for ways to adapt to the restrictions already in place. Through parallel imports, shadow fleet of tankers and the like, where shall we see the impact of this illegal profit of Russia in the efforts to corrupt your political systems and international institutions? in attempts to destabilize your social life and in disinformation campaigns against your people, in escalation in those regions that are sensitive to you. What awaits, for example, Libya, Mali, or Central African Republic, while Moscow had the power? What awaits Syria? Nothing good, just like many other nations. So you will have no rest as well. So it's not just about Ukraine. The point is that Goliath must lose. And there is no alternative to this, because the Kremlin can break the security and peace of all who are now represented here in Munich. Delayed decisions of the world are a resource Putin's dictatorship lives on. It's been that way for years. The longer the talks about the enlargement of the European Union dragged on, the more destructiveness the Kremlin brought to the then gray zone between the European Union and Russia. The louder it was said that it was necessary to wait before Ukraine was allowed to enter NATO's open door, the more aggressive Russian policy became. The longer the silence on Crimea, on the global agenda lasted, the more vigorous Russian revanchism became. And the more the world argued over what sanctions and when to impose against Russia, the more shameless the Kremlin's ambitions became. The longer we in Ukraine, in Europe, in the world had no unity, the more illusions Russia had. Now, now all this is being corrected. Just like last year, I now propose to act immediately. But unlike last year, now I have the most convincing argument, our achievements. Can we detour Russian strikes? Yes. Can we protect our cities from Russian missiles? Definitely. Can we liberate our land? There are 1,891 proofs of this. That is exactly how many cities, towns, villages we managed to liberate from the Russian occupation. Can we restore security in the Black Sea region and food security in the world? The Black Sea Grain Initiative and the humanitarian initiative Grain from Ukraine are convincing. Is it time for Ukraine to be a full-fledged part of the European Union? Most Europeans support membership for Ukraine. We have already gained the status of a candidate country. We are already preparing to start membership negotiations. We are already united with the European economy, logistics and energy. This is no, there is no alternative to Ukrainian victory. There is no alternative to Ukraine and in the EU. There is no alternative to Ukraine in NATO. There is no, no alternative to our unity. Hence, there is no and should not be any alternative to completely get rid of Russian aggression, to liberate the land, to liberate People, because every city, town and village that remains under occupation means people staying in captivity. May people be 
the subject of compromise. No. We have to liberate Ukraine and Europe. Because when the Russian weapon shoot at us, it is already pointed at our neighbors. May Europe be the subject of compromise. No. We have to liberate from Russia's aggressive potential, potential every international institution and every sphere of the world economy. Because, because only, only then there will be a chance for freedom to pass through our border further to the east. May freedom be the subject of compromise? No. And it's a rock solid no. I'm confident that we can gain victory not only over Putin, but also over Putin's. Not only over Putin's in Russia, but all, all around the world. Wouldn't this be a proof of the power of the idea of freedom? It will definitely be. Ladies and gentlemen, Determination is never abstract. David defeated Goliath not by, by the power of conversation, but by the power of these actions, by the courage and slang. Courage is what we have. There is enough of it, not only in Ukraine, but in our entire coalition of victory. The slang should get stronger right now so that the next year we would gather here in Munich for the first security post-war conference under the condition of free Ukraine, free Europe, free world. Olaf, Emmanuel, all our friends and I. Olaf, Emmanuel, yeah, all our friends, I think, I think You've got me right. I thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. You, Davids of the free world. We united. Davids shall prevail over Putin's scattered all over the world. Glory to everyone who is now on the battlefield. Slava Ukraini.